I'm Niels Hagman, and within Yenta Raffles, I'm the general manager of the Tyson department, which means that I'm both commercially and technically responsible for the biggest crane in the world. The three major components that you see behind me are the deck box, which now sits at a height of about 30 meters, the lower beam, which sits at a height of 70 meters, and finally the upper beam, which starts at 100 meters. This is about equivalent to a 30-story building. But the beam itself, and it really doesn't become obvious from the scale, the beam itself is 18 meters high, so that would add another about six stories to the total. So the, the, the total height of this crane is about 36 stories. And the lifting capacity is about 20,000 tons, which is about 10 times more than the floating cranes that are typically used in the offshore construction. One of the reasons we could obtain such an enormous lifting capacity is because of its simplicity. There is no revolving or rotating parts in the crane other than its winches. Therefore, rather than where a traditional crane would pick up a load, swing it over and put it down, here we move the loads instead. That means that the deck box, which might have been constructed at our own yard or at another one, is being brought in by a barge, after which the crane is lowered down. The crane then connects to the deck box and lifts it up vertically. At that time, the barge that brought in the deck box is being moved out of the dry dock and the lower hull, by the assistance of a few tugs, is placed into the dry dock. For the projects that we are building, uh, oil rigs such as this semi submersible that we have in the background, you see that the deck box that you see over here is actually the part that contains about 80% of the equipment and as a result also about 80% of the work is being exp uh, expended on this part of the rig with the lower part taking up maybe 20% of the work. Now you can imagine that this deck box that sits at a height equivalent to the 11th story of a building, if you have to spend so many man hours, that presents huge risks to, uh, first of all, safety, because working at height is very dangerous. It has a huge detrimental effect on the efficiency of your man hours, because all these people and tools continuously have to move up and down now. Because we can now complete the deck box, which holds about 80% of all the equipment and takes up about 80% of all the work to construct, we can do that completely, hook up all the systems before we place it on top of the lower hull. We have less work remaining after our lifting operation. And this say, brings the delivery date of the rig forward by about up to two months. Because we can now lift the entire deck box as one unified hull, you don't, leave, you don't need so many big cranes anymore at other facilities. So that means that this deck box can now be built at yards that have a lot less craneage capacity, which makes us more flexible and more scalable. What makes the Tyson crane so special is that up to two years ago, everybody thought that basically it was impossible and that it would never be built. With the completion of this crane, we can now show that we indeed have the best process of building these large, complex projects in the safest, fastest and most efficient way.